Digi Dashboard, Enterprise Level Cloud Based Test Reporting Dashboard. Let's look at how Cloud Based Reporting Dashboard can make our test reporting more efficient. As a director, we would like to see our entire organization automation reports all in one place. Whether it's API, web, mobile web, or mobile app, we want to see all of them in one dashboard. We also want to see them in a structured way, the execution of automation suite per project, and their team and the module, so that it's easily navigationable and observable. By combining all different types of test automation results, API, web, mobile, mobile app into one dashboard, Dashboard doesn't limit us to a particular solution or framework or tool or third-party solution. For example, a mobile app, we could be running on any third-party provider, and the dashboard will be able to integrate and show it here. And we could be running UI automation on a desktop or on Cloud Farm or on local, and we'll be able to show them all in one dashboard. Same goes for the API. And tomorrow, we could see unit test results here. Performance tests, Google Lighthouse, test accessibility, security, everything under one roof, regardless of what framework, what tool, and what third-party platform we're using. As a manager of our team, we're interested only in seeing the test automation results of our team. So we can go here and see the teams and choose just our team and apply filter, and we'll be given the opportunity to see only our team's automation and what they're doing and how the automation test cases trend is going on, the progression of test growth for our project. We can see initially we had only 130 cases. Then on this date, still it was 130, but then it grew to 250 cases. Help us analyze the growth of test cases for a particular project. As a tester, we would like to see the full details of the test suite we have executed and dig deep to a particular test case. So, for example, this is a test suite that was run with 250 cases, and we want to go into that particular test suite. Now it shows us the test suite history of the same suite ran over a period of three weeks, which is five different times. Let's consider we're only interested in the latest run, which ran 250 test cases. Now we are going into that particular latest suite, which shows us all the test cases of that particular suite and we want to see what happened to the first case and how it was executed. We can go inside and see the history of that particular test case run, and we can see that it has run like five different times. And we can go further inside to one execution results of that particular test case. As a tester, we would like to see if this dashboard can help us find flakiness in test automation execution. And we are choosing the first test suite from history. And there are two test cases in that test suite, and the first one says faith. We would like to know if this is a real failure or if this is a flakiness. So if we go into this now, we can see the history of this test case as execution over the past three weeks or two weeks. And what we see here is this particular test has failed and passed and failed and passed and failed. This shows us that this may be a flaky test and this can be in future automated to automatically predict and mark this particular test case as flaky test. Any test automation failure analysis requires answers to five questions, what happened, when it happened, where it happened, why it happened, and how it happened. So this page helps us understand how part of the root cause analysis is. This shows, for example, the metadata of the test case, how long the test case ran, and which build what test case and things. Also, this shows us the network log when the test was running, so we can understand or use some header parameters to look into the backend logs. We can also see the Selenium log here as well. We can also see what was running in the browser console as errors when this test was running. Besides that, we can see the capabilities and the timeouts that were passed through our web driver, and we can see the error that was shown when the test failed. And the important thing is the video log that helps us understand what was visually happening when the failure actually happened. This could also help us easily find the root cause. Now, the home page allows us to view the heartbeat of the entire organization with respect to test automation. So it shows us how many teams are running, how many projects have run automation, how many modules, how many tests, 
how many bills have been executed, and how many test executions have happened so far, and what type of browsers are running, what browser versions are being used, and also what is the percentage of power fail. An important thing in any test automation initiative is to keep the motivation and keep the test automation suites more stable. And this part allows us to encourage people to keep their pass percentage of about 90%. And this also shows us the build duration buckets, whether it's taking more time to run our test or less. And this is the heartbeat of our organization, which shows us how many tests are being executed at any point in time within a span of the chosen time frame. Here is two weeks, and this shows us the number of builds that are being executed over a period of time. So that could tell us when the builds are being executed how often test automation is being executed in our organization. Move to Cloud-Based Enterprise Reporting Dashboard, your one-stop solution to test reporting.